Hey, Mark, great to have you. So uh, let's Thanks talk about me. AI first. Um, how much is the impact of AI, at least in the medium term, already priced into some of these publicly traded stocks versus how much opportunity do you think there is right now? I think there's a significant opportunity going forward, uh, especially if you're following the recent breakthroughs that are happening and what they're able to uh, activate from an application sort of redesign perspective. I think the bulk of the value is going to be captured by a lot of these cloud vendors uh, because to develop AI, you need uh, large compute and you need large data sets. And so companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google are well positioned uh, to be leaders in there. I do think there'll be some interesting uh, startups that get created there as well over the next few years. Well, you're on the board of Samsara and we've been talking about them. I've been talking about them a lot more recently. There's an interesting use of AI in combination with things like computer vision, uh, in combination with sensors to really uh, drive efficiency throughout real world logistics and supply chains. Why wouldn't you say that the big opportunity is actually there since a lot of investors are already familiar with the hyperscalers and their potential and they have pretty good multiples already. I, I, I do think um, uh, that's a great use case where an emerging company is well positioned to take advantage of AI because you know, Samsara is a market leader in uh, 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 the fleet use cases that you just laid out. Uh, uh, having said that, I think we can think about the cloud vendors and what they're doing. You know, they're capturing uh, data at scale from uh, large enterprises. So I think that's why they have some inherent advantages. But when, at the application layer, use cases like what Samsara does uh, and companies like Grammarly, which is one of our other portfolio companies, uh, which is in the communications area, uh, are also well positioned to become uh, you know, great businesses uh, uh, by leveraging AI over the next few years. AI-driven uh, chatbots obviously got a lot of attention in the back half of this year. Um, a lot of theoretical discussion about whether or not consumers' entry point into the internet changes as a result of some of this technology. Do you think that's overstated, or is it in the realm of the possible over the next, say, five years? I think it's possible. I mean, I think when you think about, hey, you want to go online and book travel, or you want to go uh, do some other actions as consumers, uh, AI is well positioned to give you a great experience. So you can actually see, uh, you try to envision, rather than having a search bar, you have an intelligence bar, uh, where you enter uh, the action you want to see done, and, and in the background, uh, the AI systems are able to just do that for you. So you go from capturing information to make decisions to it's all already just done for you, which I think will be a great experience. So I think there's a lot of disruptive use cases uh, uh, that are on the way. Some of the demos we've seen from companies that are building those today, early stage companies are remarkable.